Okay, luckily you got something on the mail today. And this is it. I am going to put this guy in here. And just like that, it's going to be beautiful. The only thing I need is make this thread here happen in there. So let's make that happen. So this hardware came with on eBay. It is M8125. I'm gonna use a quarter in here. I'm just gonna drill a little bit first. I need to be sure that this is straight and the other thing, yeah, it looks good. And you need to have this tap and die set. You need to be sure this is gonna fit in here. So yeah, it looks like it will. So I'm just gonna expand this a little. There you go. And here we go. We got the Tap and die set, M8125 or whatever your kit has. And you start making some noise. Yeah, look at that. So first thing, clean with... Um, Brake cleaner. I'm gonna use ultra gray. This doesn't have any uh, pressure coming in here. So I just need. I'm gonna save this now. Put on the side. Put this guy right in here. Nice. Back to this point here. I'm gonna get the gasket and I'm gonna follow the pan. So you see there is a bubble uh, circle on the outside, there's a circle on the inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, I'm gonna start from here and I'm gonna start from the inside. And when I see the circle, I'm gonna follow the circle, whatever it is. Cannot forget about the gasket. There's a little gasket that goes right in here. So you put that gasket in there. Get your sump. Uh, hold by this middle part here. And find the dowel pins. And set it down. There you go. There you go. Wait for five minutes so the gasket can cure a little bit and get a little thicker in there uh, before putting the bolts on. I am using the impact wrench so I can zap it quicker. Uh, I'm not using any torque with the impact wrench, I was just pushing them down. 
and now I am uh, using a cross pattern to to um, to torque him at 15 foot pound, and the largest one, as you see now, I'm doing 29 foot pound. All right, baffle plate time. So let's do it, and it goes like this. So pointing to the front of the engine, you keep the hole on the intake side and just drop this just like that we're going to torque all of those to 8 point I think it's 8.8 .8 newton meter which I calculated and is 6.4 foot pound okay so all done two uh four six seven now we go for this baby here um it's all clean oh i got the wrong one i thought it was the other one is is actually this guy so i'm gonna take this one out and two nuts time to put the oil sensor so I'm gonna go like that so just so you know there's a little tab in one of the sides like I don't know if you can see this tab here this tab goes to the top of the engine so the sensor goes up like this okay I hope I have enough I am going to Put the oil pan <laughs> There is a lesson right there Always have extra uh, Well, but luckily This worked for me I'm going to um, squeeze the pan in here. It should be good. Uh, we should have enough. I don't think I'm going to spread with my fingers. I'm just going to squeeze this sucker in. Let it go. Nice. Okay, so I waited for eight minutes to let all this sit. Uh, honestly, I I could just let this sit up here without torquing anything, but some of the bolts got torqued by the torque wrench. Uh, it's not a big deal, but this will um, help make a, a thicker gasket because it is sitting it's going to turn into gasket before i torque everything sorry sorry guys not everything goes as planned look at that this is a <laughs> bolt that broke in there in here and I end up using that easy whatever the thing is called um, and it worked fine so I'm gonna uh, put this thing in here and see if it goes enough um, and then I'm gonna put a nut all right guys um, I think that's it front sump is officially out I'm gonna give this to a friend um, the rear sump is officially installed my tools are going to have a good place now so the engine mounts are here if you saw my last video uh, they are
kind of loose still because I don't know um, where they're gonna fit in there so I'm gonna put put the engine position the engine and see if I can uh, push back and forth I have hopes high hopes that I can still use the same drive shaft but of course I cannot but you know I'll, I won't give up um, until I see that I can I also uh, saw videos yesterday of people removing the ABS unit so I might remove that also and we're gonna make something cleaner in here because too much crap in there we don't need any of that I want to clean this here open that space before the engine goes in because after the engine is in there mm, that's yeah terrible the other thing is I flipped the engine because it was gonna be easier for me to do this and now I cannot flip back up by myself because I have no leverage there's no weight up here at all and all the weight is down there so I might need to get the engine hoist put in the engine and start lifting that up and all that stuff so guys thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe uh, leave a little thumbs up and make a comment if you can or if you have anything to say I'll be glad to read and I always answer so just uh, make a comment wait for it and I'll see you in the next video guys <laughs>